Hey everyone, today I am going to be cleaning my Edible Ink Printer's printer head, which I have to do relatively frequently. I have three Edible Ink printers. I use them on a constant basis. And because of that, the printer heads don't clog up as much, but because I use them a lot, they, they do still clog up. So if you have an Edible Ink printer, you need to use it fairly consistently. At least once a week is the guideline that I've heard. I use mine constantly, like I said. So in, in a way, I'm using them to keep the ink flowing, but on the other hand, I'm putting a lot of ink through them so they do get clogged up. So when you have to clean the printer head on the Canon printers, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. It takes a while though. So there will be times during this video I'm going to speed everything up because I don't want to... I, you know, I want to show you the whole process, but it does take a while. So I'll tell you the most important parts and, you know, like the, the points that I'm doing and why I'm doing things, but then I will be speeding things up. It takes longer than you think and you have to be thorough. So that's the most important part. All right. So I'm going to show you how to remove the printer head. And I do have other videos where I've done this before, so you can go watch those videos, but I'm going to show you how to remove the printer head in a Canon printer. It's not that difficult. And, you know, once you get the printer head out, then you can clean it pretty easily. Now, of course, this is, you know, the printer that I'm doing today is the one that's on the bottom shelf. So I will have to kind of show you this sideways. When you open the printer, the printer head with the cartridges slides into this middle position and you need to remove all the cartridges one by one. Keep them, you know, I, I put the little um, covers back on them like I'm going to be refilling the ink. And that way the ink isn't, isn't going to get everywhere. But just put them aside and then we remove the printer head. All right, while you're doing that, check the ink levels, because sometimes it's just that the ink is low on one cartridge, and that's why it's not printing. But if that's not the case and all the ink is fine, what you want to do is pull up on the gray bar. There's a gray, there's a gray bar here on some can of printers. Just pull up on that, and then you reach inside and pull out the printer head. It's very simple. Then I just put this down, close this up, and turn the printer off. And I'm going to take you over to the kitchen sink, which is where we rinse it out. Now this is kind of a weird angle, but I want to show you the actual colors as they're coming out of the cartridge into the sink. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn on the hot water. You're going to get ink all over your hands, no matter what you do. All right. Just what you want to do, and this is, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I'm watching to make sure that every single color is coming out in a big gush of ink. So you're looking for black, yellow, blue, and red. All right, there's the black. If you don't see, okay, that's a lot of black. Okay, there goes the blue. So far I have not seen yellow or magenta in any large quantity. And I'm rinsing this from the top where the sponges are going down through the, the cartridge. But now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to rinse it this way so that the water is going through the top, like the part that sits against the printer. And that forces the ink out. And I can see that there's blue and red coming out here. The magenta is coming out. But I want to watch in the sink to make sure that, okay, there's the yellow. And there's magenta. All right, so now I know that all the colors are flowing through and coming out. So we're basically forcing the ink back through the cartridge to clean it out. There's a big gush of magenta and blue and some black. And this printer was acting weird with the blue this time. Usually it's magenta. And I, I called Icing Images and I asked them if there was something different about the magenta ink and they said not that they know of. For me, it's always the magenta that seems to cause the problem, but this time it's the blue in this one printer, so we'll see. But you want to just keep rinsing through and do this until the water runs clear. Because if you stop too soon, there's still going to be ink caught up inside the cartridge, or it's inside the printer head, and that's going to prevent it from being completely cleaned out. So I'm just going to go ahead. I've seen all the colors come through now a few times. The yellow has not come through that much. So I'm going to try to make sure I get some more yellow out of it. But I'm just going to stop talking and I'll speed this up a little bit. And this is going to take a while. And it does take a while. You have to just be patient and do this until the water runs clear. And keep flipping it back and forth. So I'll, I'll be flipping the printer head back and forth. So sometimes the sponge part will be up and sometimes the little slot and the little metal slot part will be up. And I'm just basically trying to make the water run clear. All 
Okay, now that actually didn't take as long as I thought, but every time I turn the, car the printer head over, this is the blue sponge, and I can still see some blue coming through here, and that's the color that was causing the printer the problems this time, I think. So I'm going to keep rinsing this one just a little bit more, and then I might put it in the solvent just to kind of loosen that up a little bit if it doesn't clear out. Okay, I think I will put this in the solvent, and this is... This is a non-toxic printhead cleaner from Icing Images, and if you don't use this brand, I would recommend it because it's a good brand. I'm going to take a little tinfoil container that I've kind of squished so I don't have to fill the whole thing up, put this printhead down flat in it, and I know this is kind of off the camera. I think this is a new bottle, so I'm going to open this up. Alright, and what you're going to do is, is fill the printhead with the cleaner. Oops, I'm dumping it out. And you want to pour this directly onto, the, I know that you have, probably can't see what I'm doing. You want to pour it directely onto the little sponges that the print, that the cartridges sit on and kind of let that soak in, but just fill this whole thing up so that it's submerged. The liquid is submerged, like the, the print head is completely submerged in the liquid so that it's able to soak through into the little sponges and all the way through. I'm going to leave this for about 15 minutes and then I'll come back and rinse it out. Now this is something interesting. I went back to put the little um, guards on the cartridges and I noticed that the yellow cartridge, while it was still full, the sponge didn't look like it was absorbing any ink. So it could be that the yellow wasn't even going into the printer, um, the printer head or the printer at all. And that could be one of the problems of why it wasn't printing right. So what I'm going to do if you, if you notice that, you, you'll be able to see when the sponge is dried out. The sponge in these cartridges is pretty obvious when it's dry, it's pretty obvious when it's dried out. But I'm going to pull this little plug, and what this does is it's going to release the suction between here and here, and it'll create a vacuum, and all of the ink will go into the printer, and into the little sponge here, okay? And when it starts dripping out, then I'll know that it's actually moving through. There it goes, okay. So now it's dripping. Now I'll put the little plug back in. So now I know that the ink is going through the cartridge into the sponge and that will go into the printer, but it looked like it was pretty dried out. So sometimes if a printer isn't printing one color, check the cartridge because it might be the cartridge's fault, not the printer head and not the printer. So that's just something to check. And now I'm going to refill this because see how low it is? And one thing I will mention, it says in most refillable cartridges that you can do it two to three times. I only refill my cartridges twice because I always found that when I refilled it that third time, that's when I started having a lot of problems with them. And for that reason, I just refill them twice and that's all that I do. And then I get a new cartridge. But it just to, I make a mark here every time I'm going to refill it. So I'm going to refill this one so that it's ready to go. But now I know that the color is actually going through and that could solve some of the problems that I was having. All right, so it was soaking, and now I am just rinsing this out. And what happened, I, I can, I'm not sure if you guys can see the color here. It's pretty dark. The sun's coming in. But I can tell that there's blue ink in the liquid from the, the cleaner. So even though it looked like it was running pretty clear, there's still some blue that was coming out, and the solvent kind of loosens it up. So it's good to run it through. And, I can, yeah, I can see that there was a lot... Sometimes when you run it through here, it forces it out the other side with the sponge, and then when you turn it over, you can see the color on the sponge. But once this starts to run pretty clear, I let it sit and dry for a couple of hours. You want to make sure that it's pretty dry because you don't want to put the wet printer head back into the printer because that can damage the printer. All right, so I will spare you the rest of this because it's going to take a while, but it, it looks like it's running pretty clear right now. The, the problem probably was the blue because it looked like that was the problem, but it was also maybe that yellow cartridge that wasn't printing correctly, so it's a, probably a combination of a few things, which is not unusual. With the edible ink printers, you just get weird combinations of things that happen and it messes up your ink. The printer head is dried out. I'm going to put it back into the printer and we're going to put the ink cartridges back in and see what happens. Those are back in, obviously, and um, what I'm going to do is close this and print a test, like a, a printer test sheet. All right, and because this is a newer printer that doesn't have a screen on it, which I personally find kind of irritating, but it is what it is, 
I'm going to go into the computer settings to actually print the test, like the printer test form to see if uh, that, to see if everything is printing correctly. Where's the cursor? There we are. Okay, I'm going to go into devices and I'm going to find the printer. And this is copy one. I'm going to click manage. And I'm going to do, uh, I think, da, 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 it's, it's printer prop, you can do printer properties. Get that back on there. And go to maintenance. And what you want to do is run one cleaning. You want to run just a regular cleaning to get the ink flowing through the system. Right here. I'm going to do all colors and click execute. And then it's going to tell me not to do anything else. Then it's going to say, do you want to print a check pattern? I'm going to say yes and OK. OK, and now it's going to tell me what happens is if it prints the check pattern and you can see that all the colors are fine, then everything is OK. But if you get streaks on it, then it's not great. OK, so we're going to let it do that and then we'll see what it looks like when it is done. OK, there's our pattern. Now this looks OK. It looks, it looks like there's a little bit of something going on here where the blue isn't 100% colored. But what I do if it gets to this point and it looks like everything is flowing through is I print one sheet of something that has a rainbow color to it. So I get a sheet of rainbow butterflies. And that way all the colors are printing and that kind of forces the ink to get moving through the system. And that usually takes care of it if something is wrong. And I'll also be able to see very quickly if there's a color that's not working after I print that sheet. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so after going through that, I actually decided to print a piece of the of just solid blue paper because this is what it was doing before. It was giving me like a weird edge here. And you can see on the bottom, this about maybe like the last inch and a half, it was printing like kind of cutting the color off here and it was doing something weird up to about an inch and a half on the bottom. And it was doing that on all the prints. So if I had something that went toward the bottom of the page, it wasn't getting the color fully. So after cleaning it, this is what I got. This is a little tiny bit of a kind of a lighter color here, but that's not unusual. And I do have some smudges here. That's not unusual either for these printers. When you print the solid colors, sometimes it does that. You just have to trim it off. It's not a big deal. But this is much better than this. So I think that I've cleaned the printer for now. And I will say that sometimes when you go through all that, it doesn't print right, or it prints a couple of prints correctly, and then it goes back to not printing. You just have to clean the printer head again. And the other thing that I will mention is that when I see my printers start to do weird stuff like that and they're not printing a color, I don't even do the cleaning in the deep cleaning. And that's something that some printer manufacturers recommend. And they say, go ahead and do the cleaning, do the deep cleaning. I don't even bother because I've done this long enough that I know that if the printers start to do something weird with the color, it's going to stop printing soon. So I just go ahead and clean the printer head. It doesn't take really that long. It's not such a big deal and it's a much more effective way of keeping the ink flowing through the printer head correctly as opposed to trying to force it through with the cleanings and just kind of gumming it up more. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and if you have questions about your edible ink printers, post them. I might be able to help. I might not. Um, I prefer the Canon printers just because you can take the printer heads out, but sometimes you have a different type and I can't help you with that. But I can probably help you with the Canons because I've had a few different models and I'm pretty familiar with those. So definitely do post a comment and post questions and I'll be glad to answer them and I will talk to you guys later.